think Rolly was good. I, I think that Tank was just playing impatient, letting him run into the right shot, which he did. And I feel like um, Tank was sharp. What do you think happens next for uh, Tank Davis first? What do you think happens next? Do you, do you think he should move up to 40 and campaign there? Or are you looking for some smoke with him at 35? I think that um, Tank could go wherever he want to go. I feel like he's a great fighter. Like I said, he's a special fighter, and whatever he decides to do, he's going to do it, and he's going to dominate at what he's doing. And, uh, same thing with me. Chad, let me get your thoughts on uh, Roley's performance the first couple of rounds. Um, a lot of people in Media Row thought that he was winning at least the first three rounds. I was in Media Row, too. I didn't I don't know. I thought it was a close fight. I just thought Tank would just, you know, lure him in for the big shot, which he did. So. I thought that he lured him in and then knocked him out. So he was giving up those little bit of shots of success on purpose to build Rollins' confidence. With, with, with those type of fighters, you don't got to fight hard in the first, second, and third round. I feel like with those type of fighters, you take your time. He don't know what he's doing. Tank really know what he's doing. Tank got the skills. He don't got no skills. So um, you take your time and wait for them to make a mistake. Especially hurt, with Tank Power. How hurt did he look to you when he went down? It didn't matter. If they let him continue, Tank was going to knock him out. Uh, Tank probably would have slept him if they had let him continue. He didn't have his legs back together fully. So um, I don't fully agree with the stoppage, but I kind of agree. But it really didn't matter because at the end of the day, Tank was going to knock him out. Shakur, next week, uh, Devin's facing Cambosis. Does Bill not being in his corner change the dynamic of that uh, to you at all? Nah, not at all. I think that... Um, we fighters, so I mean, we can fight with our coaches. Fighters like us can fight with our coaches, can fight with, um, we can fight right here. I feel like we still gonna fight um, at the end of the day. So I don't think he's gonna play no part. I feel like Devin is a fighter. He's gonna come in shape and ready to go. Shakur, Does he need to do anything? To Antonio Tarver about that fight that was just mentioned, the Cambosis fight uh, with Haney. And Tarver frankly said that he felt like Devin needed a KO to win uh, and that he may have bitten off just a little bit more than he was shooting. What do you think about that? No, I disagree with that. I feel like, um, like I said, Devin going to come in shape. He's going to be sharp. And I just feel like um, he's going to have a great night that night. I feel like he's going to get all them belts. And that's going to make for big, bigger fights later on down the line. Does Devin need to do anything different being that he is in Australia? And, you know, we've seen Pacquiao nah. Horn and things like that. Devin got to be himself. Devin is a boxer. Don't try to be something that he's not. Um, he's a boxer. I feel like he should go in there, box. Uh, and I feel like later on, you don't see Cambosis wear down and he probably stop him. With Canelo having lost to Bivol recently, who's, uh, I don't know if he was even your number one uh, pound for pound, but who is your number one pound for pound? Uh? Terrence Crawford. I think that um, I respect what Canelo did. Um, you gotta give him the number two spot just for jumping up in weight class, then jumping back down. But I feel like Terrence Crawford should be number one just because every time out he delivered. Uh, what aspect of, obviously, Spence Crawford we're hoping to get before the end of the year, what aspect of each game does the other one have to be more uh, most aware of, do you think? I think that Bud um, got to be aware that uh, Errol won a slugfest, so he want to throw a bunch of punches. He want to have an ugly fight. And um, Errol probably got to be aware of Terrence's speed. I feel like he don't realize that uh, Terrence is a lot faster than he looked on the outside than uh, when he get inside. How was that sparring with, uh, with Terrence? It was good. I feel like he helped me prepare for my fight. I knew that if I spar with Terrence Crawford and I go nine rounds straight with him, uh, fighting Valdez wasn't going to be too hard. So. Uh, you, you just came from a outstanding performance against Valdez. You know, you dominated him all 12 rounds, unboxing, everything. Based on Tank's performance, does it motivate you to perhaps maybe go up in way and maybe challenge him? I think that the fight with me and Tank going to happen when the time right. I feel like... Like I said, we two special fighters. With them type of fighters, I don't feel like them the type of fights you want to just rush. I feel like me and him is so good, we're going to keep getting better and better and better. And then later on down the line, I'm going to be a big star. He already a big star. And then it's like we clash and it's going to make for a big, big fight. We don't want to wait too late, but you don't want to just rush them type of fights. In the meantime, what, we, what can we expect from Shakur Stevens? Man, expect greatness, man. Hey, I'm right here doing the media. Just come out the room to the left. When that fight happens, like you said, you know, you're, you're becoming a bigger superstar and like he is. Um, what, what kind of performance do you expect from that fight? I, got, I can't look forward to that because at the end of the day, um, it ain't happening. Probably ain't going to happen in the next uh, fight or so. So I got to stay focused on what's in front of me. I'm going to focus on the dudes that I'm fighting. I'm still at 130. He's at 135. Um, 
But when the time comes, it's gonna be fireworks. I feel like uh, it's gonna be a big, big night. I feel like two special fighters getting in the ring, and it's gonna sell out, and we're gonna do uh, great numbers.